Below is a list of all French heads of state. It includes the monarchs of the Kingdom of France, emperors of the First and Second Empire and leaders of the Five Republics. Historical background Monarchs ruled the Kingdom of France from the establishment of Francia in 486 to 1870, except for certain periods from 1792 to 1852. Since 1970, the head of state has been the President of France. The first race, or dynasty of kings, was the Merovingian dynasty, which ruled until 751, followed by the second race, the Carolingian dynasty, until 987 with some interruptions. The third race, the Capetian dynasty, the male line descendants of Hugh Capet, ruled France continuously from 987 to 1792 and again from 1814 to 1848. The branches of the dynasty which ruled after 1328, however, are generally given the specific branch names of Valois until 1589 and Bourbon until the end of the monarchy. With the House of Bonaparte and the Bourbon Restoration, additional «kings of the French» and «emperors of the French» ruled in 19th-century France, between 1814 and 1870. All rulers to have held the title «king of the Franks», «king of France», King of the French, or Emperor of the French, are listed below and excludes other Frankish monarchs. In addition to the monarchs listed below, the kings of England and Great Britain from 1340 to 1360 and again from 1369 to 1801 also claimed the title of King of France. For a short time, this had some basis in fact. Under the terms of the 1420 Treaty of Troyes, Charles VI had recognized his son in law Henry V of England as regent and heir. Henry V predeceased Charles VI and so Henry V's son, Henry VI, succeeded his grandfather Charles VI as King of France. Most of northern France was under English control until 1435, but by 1453, the English had been expelled from all of France save Calais and the Channel Islands, and Calais itself fell in 1558. Nevertheless, English and then British monarchs continued to claim the title for themselves until the creation of the United Kingdom in 1801. The title, King of the Franks, Latin, Rex Francorum, gradually lost ground after 1190, during the reign of Philip II, but Francorum Rex continued to be used, for example by Louis XII in 1499, by Francis I in 1515, and by Henry II about 1550. It was used on coins up to the 18th century. During the brief period when the French Constitution of 1791 was in effect 1791 to 1792 and after the July Revolution in 1830, the style, King of the French, was used instead of, King of France and Navarre. It was a constitutional innovation known as popular monarchy which linked the monarch's title to the French people rather than to the possession of the territory of France. In addition to the Kingdom of France, there were also two French empires, the first from 1804 to 1814 and again in 1815, founded and ruled by Napoleon I, and the second from 1852 to 1870, founded and ruled by his nephew Napoleon III, also known as Louis Napoleon. They used the title Emperor of the French. Merovingian dynasty 486 to 751 The Merovingians were a Salian Frankish dynasty that ruled the Franks for nearly 300 years in a region known as Francia in Latin beginning in the middle of the 5th century CE Their territory largely corresponded to ancient Gaul as well as the Roman provinces of Raetia Germania Superior and the southern part of Germania the Merovingian dynasty was founded by Childeric I c. 457-481 CE, the son of Merovech, leader of the Salian Franks, but it was his famous son Clovis I CE who united all of Gaul under Merovingian rule. The last Merovingian kings, known as the Lazy Kings, Roy's Fainéants, did not hold any real political power, while the mayor of the palace governed instead. When Thuduric IV died in 737, mayor of the palace Charles Martel left the throne vacant and continued to rule until his own death in 741. His sons Pepin and Carloman briefly restored the Merovingian dynasty by raising Childeric III to the throne in 743. 
In 751, Pepin deposed Childeric and acceded to the throne. Topic: <laughs> Carolingian Dynasty, 751 to 888. The Carolingian dynasty was a Frankish noble family with origins in the Arnulfing and Pippinid clans of the 7th century AD. The family consolidated its power in the late 8th century, eventually making the offices of mayor of the palace and dukes et princeps francorum hereditary and becoming the de facto rulers of the Franks as the real powers behind the throne. By 751, the Merovingian dynasty, which until then had ruled the Germanic Franks by right, was deprived of this right with the consent of the papacy and the aristocracy, and a Carolingian, Pepin the Short, was crowned king of the Franks. <laughs> Robertian dynasty 888 The Robertians were Frankish noblemen owing fealty to the Carolingians, and ancestors of the subsequent Capetian dynasty. Odo, Count of Paris was chosen by the Western Franks to be their king following the removal of Emperor Charles the Fat. He was crowned at Compiègne in February 888 by Walter, Archbishop of Sens. <laughs> Carolingian dynasty 893 Charles, the posthumous son of Louis II, was crowned by a faction opposed to the Robertian Odo at Reims Cathedral, though he only became the effectual monarch with the death of Odo in 898. <laughs> Robertian dynasty 922 Bosonid dynasty 923 to 936 The Bosonids were a noble family descended from Boso the Elder their member Rudolf Raoul was elected king of the Franks in 923 Topic <laughs> Carolingian dynasty 936 to 987 Topic: Capetian Dynasty 987-1792. After the death of Louis V, the son of Hugh the Great and grandson of Robert I, Hugh Capet, was elected by the nobility as King of France. The Capetian Dynasty, the male line descendants of Hugh Capet, ruled France continuously from 987 to 1792 and again from 1814 to 1848. They were direct descendants of the Robertian kings. The cadet branches of the dynasty which ruled after 1328, however, are generally given the specific branch names of Valois and Bourbon. Not listed below are Hugh Magnus, eldest son of Robert II, and Philip of France, eldest son of Louis VI. Both were co-kings with their fathers in accordance with the early Capetian practice whereby kings would crown their heirs in their own lifetimes and share power with the co-king, but predeceased them. Because neither Hugh nor Philip were sole or senior king in their own lifetimes, they are not traditionally listed as kings of France, and are not given ordinals. Henry VI of England, son of Catherine of Valois, became titular king of France upon his grandfather Charles VI's death in accordance with the Treaty of Troyes of 1420 however this was disputed and he is not always regarded as a legitimate king of France. From 21 January 1793 to 8 June 1795, Louis XVI's son Louis Charles was the titular king of France as Louis XVII. In reality, however, he was imprisoned in the temple throughout this duration, and power was held by the leaders of the Republic. Upon Louis XVII's death, his uncle Louis XVI's brother Louis Stanislas claimed the throne, as Louis XVIII, but only became de facto king of France in 1814. House of Capet Topic: <laughs> House of Valois 1328 to 
Topic: <laughs> House of Lancaster 1422 to 1453 disputed. Topic: <laughs> House of Valois 1328 to 1589. Topic: Orléans branch 1498 to 1515. Topic: Orléans Angoulême branch 1515 to 1589. Topic: House of Bourbon 1589 to 1792. Topic: French First Republic, 1792 to 1804. Topic: Presidents of the National Convention. The first president of France is considered to be Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, later Napoleon III, who was elected in the 1848 election under the French Second Republic. From the 22nd of September 1792 to the 2nd of November 1795, the French Republic was governed by the National Convention, whose president, elected from within for a 14-day term, may be considered as France's legitimate head of state during this period. Historians generally divide the convention's activities into three periods: moderate, radical, and reaction, and the policies of presidents of the convention reflect these distinctions. During the radical and reaction phases, some of the presidents were executed, most by guillotine, committed suicide, or were deported. In addition, some of the presidents were later deported during the Bourbon Restoration in 1815. <laughs> <laughs> Establishment of the Convention The National Convention governed France from 20 September 1792 until 26 October 1795 during the most critical period of the French Revolution. The election of the National Convention took place in September 1792 after the election of the electoral colleges by primary regional assemblies on 26 August. Owing to the abstention of aristocrats and the anti-republicans, and the general fear of victimization, the voter turnout in the departments was low, as little as 7.5% or as much as 11.9% of the electorate, compared to 10.2% in the 1791 elections. Despite the doubling of the number of eligible voters, initially elected to provide a new constitution after the overthrow of the monarchy on 10 August 1792, the convention included 749 deputies drawn from businesses and and trades, and from such professions as law, journalism, medicine, and the clergy. Among its earliest acts was the formal abolition of the monarchy, through proclamation, on 21 September, and the subsequent establishment of the Republic on of September. The French Republican calendar discarded all Christian reference points and calculated time from the Republic's first full day after the monarchy, the 22nd of September 1792, the first day of year one. According to its own rules, the convention elected its president every fortnight, two weeks. He was eligible for re-election after the lapse of a fortnight. Ordinarily, the sessions were held in the morning, but evening sessions also occurred frequently, often extending late into the night. In exceptional circumstances, the convention declared itself in permanent session and sat for several days without interruption. For both legislative and administrative deliberations, the convention used committees, with powers more or less widely extended and regulated by successive laws. The most famous of these committees included the Committee of Public Safety and the Committee of General Security. The convention held both legislative and executive powers during the first years of the French First Republic and had three distinct periods: Girondins (moderate), Montagnard (radical), and Thermidorian (reaction). The Montagnards favored granting the poorer classes more political power. The Girondins favored a bourgeois republic and wanted to reduce the power and influence of Paris over the course of the revolution. A popular uprising in Paris helped to purge the convention of the Girondins between the 31st of May and the 2nd of June 1793. The last of the Girondins served as presidents in late July. In its second phase, the Montagnards controlled the convention, June 1793 to July 1794. 
War and an internal rebellion convinced the revolutionary government to establish a committee of public safety which exercised near dictatorial power. Consequently, the Democratic Constitution, approved by the Convention on 24 June 1793, did not go into effect and the Convention lost its legislative initiative. The rise of mountaineers Montagnards corresponded with the decline of the Girondins. The Girondin party had hesitated on the correct course of action to take with Louis XVI after his attempt to flee France on 20 June 1791. Some elements of the Girondin party believed they could use the king as figurehead. While the Girondins hesitated, the Montagnards took a united stand during the trial in December 1792 to January 1793 and favoured the king's execution. Riding on this victory, the Montagnards then sought to discredit the Girondins using tactics previously used against themselves, denouncing the Girondins as liars and enemies of the revolution. The last quarter of the year was marked by the Reign of Terror, the 5th of September 1793 to the 28th of July 1794, also known as the Terror, French La Terreur, a period of violence incited by conflict between these rival political factions, the Girondins and the Jacobins, and marked by mass executions of enemies of the revolution. The death toll ranged in the tens of thousands, with 16,594 executed by guillotine 2,639 in Paris, and another 25,000 in summary executions across France. Most of the Parisian victims of the guillotine filled the Madeleine, Masso also called Arancis, and Picpus cemeteries. In the third phase, called Thermidor after the month in which it began, many of the members of the convention overthrew the most prominent member of the committee, Maximilien Robespierre. This reaction to the radical influence of the Committee of Public Safety re established the balance of power in the hands of the moderate deputies. The Girondins who had survived the 1793 purge were recalled and the leading Montagnards were themselves purged, and many executed. In August 1795, the convention approved the constitution for the regime that replaced it, the bourgeois-dominated directory, which exercised power from 1795 to 1799, when a coup d'état by Napoleon Bonaparte overthrew it. Moderate phase, September 1792 to June 1793 Initially, La Marais, or the Plain, a moderate, amorphous group, controlled the convention. At the first session, held on 20 September 1792, the elder statesman Philippe Rull presided over the session. The following day, amidst profound silence, the proposition was put to the Assembly, that royalty be abolished in France. It carried, with cheers. On the 22nd came the news of the Republic's victory at the Battle of Valmy. On the same day, the Convention decreed that, in future, the acts of the Assembly shall be dated first year of the French Republic. Three days later, the Convention added the corollary of, the French Republic is one and indivisible. To guard against federalism, the following men were elected for two-week terms as presidents, or executives, of the Convention. At the end of May 1793, an uprising of the Parisian sans-culottes, the day laborers and working class, undermined much of the authority of the moderate Girondins. At this point, although Danton and Aero de Seychelles both served one more term each as presidents of the convention, the Girondins had lost control of the convention. In June and July compromise after compromise changed the course of the revolution from a bourgeois event to a radical, working class event. Price controls were introduced and a minimum wage guaranteed to workers and soldiers. Over the course of the summer, the government became truly revolutionary. Topic: <laughs> Radical phase, June 1793 to July 1794. After the insurrection, any attempted resistance to revolutionary ideals was crushed. The insurrection of 31 May to 2 June 1793 marked a significant milestone in the history of the French Revolution. The days of 31 May to 2 June French, journeys resulted in the fall of the Girondin party under pressure of the Parisian sans-culottes, Jacobins of the clubs, and Montagnards in the National Convention. The following men were elected as presidents of the convention during its transition from its moderate to radical phase. After 1793, President of the National Convention became a puppet office under the Committee of Public Safety. 
The following men were elected as presidents of the convention during its radical phase. Reaction, July 1794–1795 In 1794, Maximilien Robespierre continued to consolidate his power over the Montagnards with the use of the Committee of Public Safety. By late spring, the moderate members of the convention had had enough. They began to conspire secretly against Robespierre and his allies. The Thermidorian reaction was a revolt within the convention against the leadership of the Jacobin Club over the Committee of Public Safety. The National Convention voted to remove Maximilien Robespierre, Louis Antoine de Saint Just, and several other leading members of the revolutionary government, and they were executed the following day. This ended the most radical phase of the French Revolution. The following men were presidents of the convention until its end. Topic: Presidents of the Committee of Public Safety. Political parties: Montagnard Thermidorian Marais. Topic: Successor organization. Topic: The Directory. The Directory French, Directoire, was the government of France following the collapse of the National Convention in late 1795. Administered by a collective leadership of five directors, it preceded the consulate established in a coup d'état by Napoleon. It lasted from 2 November 1795 until 10 November 1799, a period commonly known as the Directory Era. The Directory operated with a bicameral structure. A Council of the Ancients, selected by lot, named the directors. For its own security, the left whose members dominated the council resolved that all five must be old members of the convention and regicides who had voted to execute King Louis XVI. The Ancients chose Jean-François Rubel, Paul-François-Jean-Nicolas, Vicomte de Barris, Louis-Marie de la Revelière Lepo, Lazare Nicolas Marguerite Carnot, and Étienne-François Le Tournoir. The Directory was officially led by a president, as stipulated by Article 141 of the Constitution of the Year 3. An entirely ceremonial post, the first president was Rubel who was chosen by lot on 2 November 1795. The directors conducted their elections privately, with the presidency rotating every three months. The last president was Goyer. The key figure of the directory was Paul Barris, the only director to serve throughout the directory. Topic: The consulate. Topic. House of Bonaparte, First Empire 1804 Napoleon Bonaparte became emperor in 1804 following a referendum. He received the title Emperor of the French to differentiate himself from the previous monarchs. His rule saw the domination of France as it crushed the Prussians, Russians, Austrians and British alike. Napoleon's rule lasted from 1804 to 1814 when after many coalitions against him he was defeated by the combined might of the other powers of Europe. He would then be exiled to the island of Elba off the coast of Italy. However he was given the island to run as the Emperor of Elba. <laughs> Capetian dynasty 1814 House of Bourbon, Bourbon Restoration 1814 to 1815. Topic: House of Bonaparte, First Empire, 100 Days, 1815. Topic: Capetian dynasty 1815 to 1848 Topic <laughs> House of Bourbon 1815 to 1830 Topic 
Revolution of 1830 For a few days during the July Revolution, Gilbert du Motier, Marquis de Lafayette held executive power and was offered the presidency of a republic. He refused. Louis XIX was technically king for 20 minutes on August 2, 1830, and his nephew Henri V for 10 days after that. House of Orléans, July Monarchy 1830 French Second Republic 1848 De facto heads of state of regimes of 1848 Political parties moderate Republican. Topic: <inaudible> President of the Republic. Political parties Bonapartist. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> House of Bonaparte, Second Empire, 1852 to 1870. Topic: French Third Republic, 1870 to 1940. Topic: President of the Government of National Defense. Louis Jules Trocou, the 4th of September 1870 to the 13th of February 1871. Topic. Chief of the Executive Power Adolphe Thiers the 17th of February 1871 to the 30th of August 1871 became president on the 31st of August 1871 Topic <laughs> Presidents of the Republic Political parties Independent Moderate Monarchist Opportunist Republican Democratic Republican Alliance Radical Socialist Party Acting Presidents Under the Third Republic, the President of the Council served as Acting President whenever the office of President was vacant. Jules Armand Dufour Maurice Rouvier, 2 to 3 December 1887. Charles Depay, 25 to 27 June 1894, 16 to 17 January 1895 and 16 to 18 February 1899. Alexander Millerand, 21 to 23 September 1920. Frederick Francois Marcel, 11 to 13 June 1924. André Tardieu, 7 to 10 May 1932. The office of President of the French Republic did not exist from 1940 until 1947. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> French State, 1940 to 1944. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Chief of State. Vichy collaborationist. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Provisional government of the French Republic, 1944 to 1947. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Chairman of the Provisional Government. Brigadier General Charles de Gaulle, the 3rd of June 1944 to the 26th of January 1946. Felix Guin, the 26th of January 1946 to the 24th of June 1946. Georges Bidot, the 24th of June 1946 to the 28th of November 1946. Vincent Oriol, interim, the 28th of November 1946 to the 16th of December 1946. Léon Blum, the 16th of December 1946 to the 16th of January 1947. 
Topic: <laughs> French Fourth Republic, 1947 to 1958. Topic: <laughs> Presidents. Political parties. Socialist SFIO. Center right CNIP. Topic: Fifth French Republic, 1958 present. Topic: Presidents. Political parties. Socialist PS. Christian centrist CD. Republican FNRI PR. Gaullist UNR UDR RPR. Neo Gaullist Ump Centrist Rem Topic Later Pretenders Various pretenders descended from the preceding monarchs have claimed to be the legitimate monarch of France, rejecting the claims of the President of France, and of each other. These groups are Legitimist claimants to the throne of France, descendants of the Bourbons, rejecting all heads of state 1792 to 1814, 1815, and since 1830. Unionists recognized the Orleanist claimant after 1883. Legitimist Anjou claimants to the throne of France, descendants of Louis XIV, claiming precedence over the House of Orléans by virtue of primogeniture. Orléanist claimants to the throne of France, descendants of Louis Philippe, himself descended from a junior line of the Bourbon dynasty, rejecting all heads of state since 1848. Bonapartist claimants to the throne of France, descendants of Napoleon I and his brothers, rejecting all heads of state 1815-48, and since 1870. English claimants to the throne of France, kings of England and later, of Great Britain renounced by Hanoverian King George III upon union with Ireland. Jacobite claimants to the throne of France, senior heirs general of King Edward III of England and thus his claim to the French throne, also claiming England, Scotland, and Ireland. See also List of French monarchs List of presidents of the National Convention List of presidents of France Ministers of the French National Convention Representative on mission Full list of members of the convention per department, list of members of the National Convention by department French. List of foreign ministers of France List of prime ministers of France President of France British claims to the French throne Kings of France family tree Style of the French sovereign Topic. Notes, citations and sources Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>